All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, as you guys may know, the Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku's Extreme Z Awakening will become available on Global on December 24th, 2020, or approximately a month from the time this video comes out. So today, I want to provide you guys with a full comprehensive guide on how to fully farm and awaken the Prime Battle LR Goku, and also farm and awaken all the units required to challenge his Extreme Z area event, to get his Extreme Z Awakening medals, and eventually, Extreme Z Awaken, the Prime Battle Goku. Now this, I'll be honest, is a very lengthy process. It's definitely one of the most painful grinds you'll ever have to go through as a Dokkan player. But ultimately, all of the time, blood, sweat, and tears you'll have to invest will be worth it because this dude is an absolute monster with his EZA. So, if you guys are willing to make that sacrifice, then keep watching, and without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Now the first place you want to start is the Prime Battle event, the Transcended Warrior event right here. Now luckily, there is now a uh, increased drop category, which is the Vegeta's Family category. But keep in mind that you can only use units that drop from Story Events, Strike Events, Dokkan Events, special events and limit events. All right, so basically only free to play units are usable on this event as well as all other prime battle events. And an example of a really good team to bring would be something like this. Okay, so as you can see, we have all Vegeta's family units, all drop units, of course, because that's all he can use. And this team actually gives me an increased drop rate of 205% on the event for all the stages. Now obviously you don't have to use this exact team, but I would recommend that you bring as many Vegeta's family units as you possibly can to make this grind go as quickly as possible, right? So let me just remove that. And uh, once you have your team set up, once your team is ready to you know challenge the event, you can go through the various stages. There's four stages in total. The first stage, drops the SSR Gokus that eventually awaken into the LR Super Saiyan Goku. Stage 2 drops the medals to awaken him from his SSR form to his TUR form. Stage 3 drops the medals to awaken him from his TUR form to his LR form. And then Stage 4 actually drops the dupes of Goku as well as the LR Awakening medals. So even though Stage 1 does give you a chance to get copies of the Goku, Stage 4 actually has a much higher drop rate. I believe what I heard was that Stage 1 is like a 1% chance. I could be wrong, but this is what I've been told. 1% chance for Stage 1, but 15% for Stage 2. Or sorry, Stage 4. So Stage 4 is definitely the stage where you're going to be spending most of your time. Okay, now on Stage 2, you want to get at least 15 of these TUR medals because that's how many you need to awaken Goku from... SSR to TUR. And then on stage four, you want to farm at least 14 copies of this SSR Goku because 10 of them will be to get him to super attack 10. And then the additional four will be for his hidden potential paths in the hidden potential system, right? So 14 copies of the Goku, 15 of these TUR medals, and then you need 777 of these LR Awakening Medals. So once you get all the things I just mentioned, let's uh, actually go back to this Goku here so it's easier for you guys to understand the entire process. All right, so like I said, he starts off as this SSR Goku, which you get from Stage 4. You need 10 copies to get him from Super Attack 1 to Super Attack 10, and then you need the additional 4 copies to feed into its hidden potential system. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and rainbow him with your potential orbs, and in terms of the hidden potential skills, I would go with as many critical hit as possible, and then the rest to additional attack. Obviously, the distribution is totally up to you, but if you want the most damage output, then 20 critical and 6 additional is the best setup, okay? So now you have a Super Attack 10 uh, rainbowed SSR, or rather you are Goku, right? And what you want to do now is awaken him to his TUR form with your 15 TUR medals. So now you got a rainbowed Goku like this. And finally, you use your 777 LR awakening medals to awaken him to LR Super Saiyan Goku. So now what you got on your hands is a Super Attack 10 rainbowed 
LR Super Saiyan Goku. And the next step is a personal decision. You can either use 10 Elder Kai's to get him from Super Attack 10 to Super Attack 20 really quickly, or you can farm a second copy of the Prime Battle LR Goku at Super Attack 10 to feed into your main Goku to get him to Super Attack 20 that way. Now, of course, in order to do that, you have to get 10 more copies of the Goku, 15 more of the TUR medals, and 777 more of the LR medals, essentially repeating the whole process all over again, except this time you don't have to get the hidden potential path open, you don't have to give him any hidden potential orbs, you just have to get him to Super Attack 10, awaken to LR status, and feed him into your main Goku for that free Super Attack 20, okay? So now, uh, that's pretty much all you can do before you Extreme Z awaken him, you have a Super Attack 20, level 150, rainbowed Prime Battle Goku on your hands, and the next step is to move on to farming all of the units that are required for his Extreme Z area event, which once again is coming out on the 24th or 25th, depending on your time zone. For people on the East Coast, it's going to be the 25th. For people on the West Coast, it's going to be the night of the 24th. Now, as far as the required units go, you need six specific units, these guys right here, and they all need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened and also 100% in the Hidden Potential System to be used for the event. And the units are the STR LR Goku Black, AGL Cooler, Tech Lord Slug, Tech Fusion Android 13, Int Final Form Frieza, and Int Raditz. So let's just go in order here and start with the LR Goku Black first. So. Uh, he starts off as just the Masu, so this guy right here, and you can farm him from the Zero Mortals Plan story event from the 5th anniversary. So the process is actually very similar to the LR Prime Battle Goku. You want to start by farming at least 14 copies of this STR Zamasu, 10 for Super Attack 10, and 4 additional for the Hidden Potential Paths. And the next step would be to Rainbow him and then farm 30 of these Awakening Medals to awaken your Zamasu to the TUR state. And then you want to farm 50 of these other Awakening Medals, they're all from the Zero Mortals Plan story events by the way, to awaken him into LR Goku Black or LR Zamasu Goku. So now you have a Super Attack 10 Rainbowed LR Goku Black, and for the additional 10 Super Attack, you can either farm a second LR Goku Black at Super Attack 10 to feed into your main Goku Black, or you can use 10 Elder Kai's, which I wouldn't recommend, but if you have a ton of Kai's, then obviously that's totally up to you. And uh, from there, we need to Extreme Z Awaken him. And to do that, we need to take on his Extreme Z Area event. As always, there is a certain pool of units you can pull from to challenge the event. And these are the uh, units you can use. Obviously, the LR Goku Black must be on your team. So once you have your team assembled, you just run this stage over and over again until you get 45 of his Extreme Z Awakening medals. And then you can perform all of the Extreme Z Awakening steps to get him fully Extreme Z Awakened. Now, when he's fully Extreme Z Awakened, his max super attack is going to be 25. So what you're going to want to do is farm a third copy of the LR Goku Black, but this time only at Super Attack 5 to feed into your main, um, you know, LR Goku Black and get him to Super Attack 25 for free. Now, if this is too much work for you and you want to save some time, once again, you can use Elder Kai's, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think the grind for the Goku Black is that bad, so if you're going to use Kai's, then save them for the Prime Battle Goku later on, okay? So from there, we're going to move on to... Let's see, the AGL Cooler. So AGL Cooler is actually available through the Baba Shop with uh, Incredible Gems. You can buy up to 10 copies for 300 gems each. So you wanna buy at least five copies for the Hidden Potential System, right? And from there, you can actually farm his super attack with the Tech Coolers from the Cooler Story Event. So if you wanna save some Kai's here, then farm as many of these coolers as required to uh, get the AGL cooler to Super Attack 10, feed in the dupes that you bought, and then uh, fill out his hidden potential system with your orbs to get him to 100% or rainbowed. And from there, you need 35 of the Awakening Medals from the Final Form Cooler token event 
to awaken cooler to his TUR form. And finally, for his Extreme Z Awakening, you need to farm his Extreme Z area event. Now, right now, we're gonna put this on hold because to take on the event, you actually need the cooler as well as this Int Final Form Frieza, who also is one of the required units for the uh, Prime Battle Goku Extreme Z area. So let's focus on Frieza for the time being. And this Frieza is a little bit trickier than the last two guys because he actually starts off as an SR unit, which drops from the first stage of the full power Frieza Dokkan event. So farm 15 copies of this SR Frieza and then get him to Super Attack 10. But before you can feed in any dupes, you actually have to awaken him as well as the additional four SR Frieza's into this SSR Final Form Frieza with uh, three of the medals from the Full Power Frieza token event. Now, of course, since you need to awaken five copies, it's gonna be 15 medals in total. And once you have your Super Attack 10 Frieza as well as the additional Super Attack 1 dupes, all in this form, just Z awaken your main Frieza to UR and then you can feed in the dupes for the hidden potential system and then rainbow him from there. So once you feed in the orbs and rainbow him, you can now token awaken him one more time with five more of the uh, token awakening medals from the full power Frieza event. And now you have a rainbowed super attack 10 int final form Frieza. And what we're gonna do from there is extreme Z awaken both the cooler and the Frieza at once by farming the Extreme Z area event. So here are all the units you can bring on your team to take on this event and the cooler and Frieza are mandatory. So once you have your team ready, farm all the meadows you need. Stage one is for the Frieza, stage two is for the cooler and uh, you need a grand total of 15 bronze medals, 30 silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow for each of them to fully extreme Z awaken them. And for the additional five super attack levels for cooler, you can either buy another copy in the Baba shop, farm the tech coolers to get it to super attack five, awaken cooler, and then feed him into your main cooler to get him to super attack 15 for free, or obviously use Kai's. And then for Frieza, you can obviously also use Kai's, or you can farm five copies of the SR Frieza for Super Attack 5 and then awaken him to this form and feed him into your main Frieza to get him to Super Attack 15 for free. The choice, obviously, once again, is totally up to you, but I do recommend to save as many Kai's as possible because there are plenty of units out there that still don't have farmable Super Attacks where you need to use Kai's, so it's better to save your Kai's for those units instead of wasting them on units that can be farmed, right? So at this point, we have three out of the six required units done. Now let's move on to the tech Lord Slug. So Lord Slug awakens from uh, this Lord Slug right here who can be farmed from the Lord Slug story event. So once again, you wanna farm at least 14 copies of the tech Lord Slug, 10 for Super Attack 10, or for the hidden potential system, give him the orbs to rainbow him, and then you need Let's see, 20 of the Lord Slug medals from his story event to doke and awaken him. And at this point, you have to farm his Extreme Z area event to Extreme Z awaken him. Okay, so here's the Extreme Z area event. And here is the pool of units you can bring to challenge the event. But you also need both Lord Slug and the STR Kaoken Goku, who is also available through the Lord Slug event. So at this point, you don't actually need to rainbow the Goku. What I would do is just get the Goku to Super Attack 10, uh, you know, give him the dupes, awaken him, but you can save your orbs for now until you need him in the future. And once you have the Goku and Lord Slug, as well as some of these other units that can be brought on the event, then you can farm the Awakening Medals or Extreme Z Awakening Medals for Lord Slug, which are found on stage two of the event. And in total, once again, you need uh, 15 bronze Extreme Z Awakening medals, 40 silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow to fully Extreme Z Awaken him. And then for the remaining super attack, arm five more copies of the uh, SSR Lord Slug, so can awaken him and then feed it into your main Lord Slug to get a rainbowed super attack 15 tech Lord Slug. Now we can talk about the uh, Fusion Android 13. And this guy is quite a bit of work. He might actually take the longest out of all of the 
required units. So what you gotta do with him is uh, actually start with these SR Android 13s. Now you can start by buying four copies of him in the barber shop for 100 incredible gems each, but you still need more copies than that, right? So for the remaining 10 copies, you'll have to farm the quest or story mode, specifically area 14, level eight for dupes of him. And once again, you need 14 copies, 10 for super attack 10, and four additional for the hidden potential system. So you feed in 10 copies or nine copies into one of them for super attack 10, right? But before you feed in the dupes, you need to token awaken all five of them. So in order to token awaken one of them, you need 20 of each of these medals. So 20, of the Jero medals, 20 of the Android 19 medals, 14 medals, 15 medals, as well as 20 of these Goku medals. And they can all be found on various story stages. So for the Jero medals, it's in area 12, level 4. For the 19 medals, it's area 10, level 4. For the 14 medals, it's area 14, level 8. For the 15 medals, it's area 13, level 3. And for the Goku medals, there are three different stages that has them. Area 11, level three, area 12, level eight, or area 13, level one. Okay, so um, that's gonna be a pretty huge grind considering you gotta awaken five of them, right? So in total, you'll need 100 of each of these medals to awaken your main Android 13, as well as your additional dupes for the hidden potential paths. And once you have all five of them token awakened, you wanna uh, Z awaken your main Android 13 so that you can feed in the dupes into the hidden potential paths and then give him the orbs to rainbow him. And uh, finally, the last step before Extreme Z awakening, of course, is to token awaken him. And for his token awakening, he requires seven of these ultimate clash medals, which are available in the Baba shop, either for um, incredible gems or battlefield memories. All right, so you got him Doken Awakened. He's super attack 10 rainbowed now. And to get his Extreme Z Awakening medals, they're actually from this uh, from this Extreme Z battle event. So you guys might remember this Extreme Z battle where you get Awakening medals for seven different units all at once, all of these guys. But for the purpose of the uh, Prime Battle Goku Extreme Z area, all you need are the Android 13 medals right here. So. Uh, regardless, you have to clear all 30 stages, right? The weakness here is the Ginyu Force category, which of course is a free-to-play team, so if you guys haven't farmed that team, I mean, you don't need to, you can beat it with other teams, but this is the effective category. And as you go through the event, a couple things to keep in mind is that after level 1, the enemies will have additional damage reduction of 40% against Super AGL types, after level 3, there's additional damage reduction of 50% against Super AGL and Super Tech. And then after level 5, additional damage reduction of 60% against the Super AGL, Super Tech, and Super Int. And then after level 7, additional damage reduction of 70% against Super AGL, Super Tech, Super Int, and Super SDR. And then after level 9, characters that are SSR or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage and additional damage reduction of 80%. Against Super AGL, Super Tech, Super N, Super STR, and Super Fizz. Basically, all the super types. And from there, there's not much else you have to worry about. Essentially, um, the main thing is that after level 9, super types will no longer be effective on this event. So you want to bring an all extreme team if you can. And once you clear all 30 stages, you'll have all the medals you need to extreme to awaken the um, tech fusion android 13 so you go back to your 13 and you give him the medals you perform all the steps and then for the remaining five super attack levels you can either use kai's or you can get another five copies of the sr android 13 from the story event or from you know the uh, quest mode and then token awaken him to this form feed it into your main android 13 for that free super attack 15. And from here, we only have one more unit, which is uh, the Int Raditz. All right, so for Int Raditz, similar to all of the other units we just talked about, um, he's gonna be farmable through the Int Raditz story event. So farm 14 copies, right, to get him to Super Attack 10, and then fill in all the hidden potential paths, give him the orbs to rainbow him, and then use 20 of these Raditz medals to token awaken him. And now you'll have a rainbowed Super Attack 10 
int raditz and his extreme z area event is right here and you must have the int raditz as well as this int great ape nappa on your team and this nappa is available through the saiyan warrior race story event and obviously you don't need to rainbow him you don't even need to give him any dupes or get him to super attack 10 all you need him for is to uh you know fulfill the requirement for raditz's extreme z area now if he is super attack 10 and he has some orbs then it'll make the event a little bit easier right but honestly as long as you have lr krillin or this fizz vegeta then they'll pretty much carry you through the event so you don't need to worry too much about nappa just get him awakened and uh throw him on your team and obviously just farm the different stages get all the awakening medals you need which is 15 bronze 40 silver 30 gold and 30 rainbow to perform all of the extreme z awakening steps and then for the final five super attack levels farm another five copies of the int ssr raditz feed them into each other for super attack 5 and then token awaken it to tur raditz and then feed it into your main raditz for that free super attack 15. and now at this point in the video you should have all of the required units for the uh prime battle goku extreme z area event all fully extreme z awakened and rainbowed and now you're ready to challenge the prime battle lr goku extreme z area event all right so now comes the easy part just bring your team into the event and farm 45 of the extreme z awakening medals to uh extreme z awaken the goku and uh now the final step is to decide whether or not you want to farm a third prime battle goku at super attack 5 to feed into your main goku for the free super attack 25 but if you guys are you know feeling tired at this point you're feeling a little bit lazy and you just want to use five kais to get him from a super attack 20 to super attack 25 i wouldn't blame you at all because you've been through a lot you've already done a ton of grinding so you know what five kais couldn't hurt but if you want to go the fully like free to play routes then yeah farm a third goku only at super attack 5 beat him in and you'll be done so there you go guys that is the full comprehensive guide for how to obtain a fully extreme z awakened super attack 25 rainbowed tech lr super saiyan goku from start to finish hopefully this video helped you guys at least a little bit throughout the process and if it did then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, guys before you go let me know if you guys plan to actually do this grind or is it too much for you and you just don't feel like doing it i understand if you don't but uh, for those of you that you know are going to be putting in the time the blood sweat and tears all that's required to get this done you've earned my respect but anyways guys that's it there's nothing else to say thank you once again for watching and uh, until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out